Welcome in, everybody, to another exclusive interview with Phenol Hoof Report. Uh, my name is Patrick O'Brien. I'll be your host today here. I got a special guest once again coming to you here, one that you have been quite familiar with or you have learned, especially in North Carolina, more about here. I got PJ Edwards, who just now uh, announced his commitment to being a UC, uh, part of the UCF family here. So, PJ, congrats, first of all, um, for, for your announcement. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's a huge weight off your off your shoulders that you have now you, that your decision's behind you, behind you now. Sure. Like, it's like a huge sigh of relief. I mean, it's happy. Like, it feels good just knowing I got a home next year and knowing where I'm going. And just being situated now, just focusing on coming in and just working and being the best I could be. Well, the first question that everybody wants to know is what ultimately made UCF the place for you in the end? Um, really, uh, once I started the recruiting process with them and, and getting to meet Coach, jo uh, Coach Dawkins, and, I mean, I mean, everyone knows Coach Dawkins and his historic, legendary background, and, and, and getting coaching from someone like that and then a, a, the staff on top of that and them building a relationship with me. I mean, it, it just felt natural. It felt good. I felt comfortable with them. And, and they were just at me hard, and it felt like the place to be. What were some of the final factors that kind of, like, pushed them over the edge in your kind of final days uh, leading up to what your decision is that really just meant it – that showed that that was the place for you? Uh, really, I would say um, knowing, knowing the staff and having the general relationship with them and just – through the Zooms, because, you know, we can't can't get out and meet anyone face-to-face, -face, but through the Zooms and, and doing the process through the Zooms and them seeing my family and my family getting comfortable with them and just getting to know them and then learning more about the situation and the opportunity there at the program. I mean, it, it just all made sense, and, and we are comfortable. We are comfortable. How did you kind of inform the staff, and what did they have to say? I'm sure they were excited to get uh, grab a talent like you there. So what did they have to say when you when you told them? I mean, they were they're extremely excited. They just they were just saying like, let's get in and work. Like we're right back, we're right to it. You know, we're not gonna waste any days, and we're gonna keep building up the program. And they're excited for me to come in and be a part of the family. Now you mentioned it's been a it's been a unique times, I would say, of everything. So you've had to do a lot of Zoom calls, like you mentioned, and everything like that. How has this? Uh, I've always been interested. How has this recruiting process? Obviously, this is your kind of first time going through it and everything like that. Um, but how has it kind of been different for you? And what were some of the, the things that you had to kind of really focus on not getting the full, you know, getting out to see everybody, um, you know, going to see, uh, going to see the program and everything like that. You had to do a lot of uh, virtual stuff. In there. What were some of the kind of things that you had to go through and everything with the recruiting process? Uh, for one, I mean, like you said, like it's a, it's a whole different day and age right now. So like, this is something like we haven't seen before. So, I mean, doing everything through the zooms and stuff for sure you have to like because you don't get to meet people face to face so you have to value your time on there you got to really soak in on everything that they're saying to you and, and you got to weigh your options and i feel like uh with this i feel like what made what made ucf stand out to me during this process and what was big to it was because like ucf was one of the most consistent schools on me and like with everything going on like this it's hard to, you know, you can't, you can't see anyone face to face. So just building that relationship every day and, and, and getting closer and really understanding and knowing who, who they were. And, and that was probably, that's probably like, that was the hugest factor in, in this for me. So, yeah. It's really developing that relationship, even stronger hold and like really trusting kind of hearing what yeah. you hear from that, especially just being able to do over virtual uh, everything. It's, it's a different experience for sure. Sure. Um, you mentioned it a little bit now. Uh, I know you're excited about playing uh, under Coach Dawkins here, but what what is kind of your excitement now, knowing that you're going to be playing for you know a, a fantastic coach and uh, just learning more from what uh, his experience and, and under him? Uh, really, just I'm excited about getting there and being able to grow, soak it all up, and just being somewhere where I know I can focus and I have the tools and. And I, I have everything there. Like, I could just focus and grow and just work on every day, just becoming the best player and best person I could be and knowing that I'll have people around me supporting me, pushing me to be, and they know where I want to go and what I want to do in life. So I feel like right now I have a good – like, I got it set up. It's set up for me to just come in and, and just execute it and stick to the game plan. 
who was kind of your main recruiter and everything from the staff? Uh, and what was that kind of relationship like for you? Uh, on the zones, I would, the whole staff would be on the zones, but I probably talked to Coach Doc, uh, Coach Jimmy Drew the most. Okay. What, what was that kind of relationship? What, what were some of the kind of talks that y'all have, um, whether it's, whether it's a, through the recruiting process or just, you know, just talking basketball or life or anything like that? Uh, well, it's crazy because I'm from Springfield, Illinois. And Coach, uh, Coach Drew is too. So he knows my first high school coach. So he knows him like really well. So automatically we had, we had a strong tie back home. So that kicked it off. So like when me and Coach Drew talked, we we could talk about a lot because we're from the same area. We know the same people. And, and like it's a small it's a small city. So I mean that itself, that, that was another boost that made me really comfortable with Coach Drew. And like we, we got to talk like we knew each other for a long time instantly. That had to that had to really help in that recruiting process. Just kind of having that background and that closeness there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what's your excitement now playing in a conference like the AAC here? Uh, man, uh, it's a lot of odds and it's a chance. It's like it's a it's a lot of odds and it's a chance to be noticed, chance to be seen. And, and UCF is a program on the rise, so I feel like I can come in and contribute to that. I fit in with the culture, and I and I can come in and make an impact and just. Yeah, I just got a chance, an opportunity, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Now, I wanted to give people that uh, uh, don't know your story quite yet, uh, a little bit yet there. You just mentioned a little bit that, uh, where, you, where you came from here, but then you moved to North Carolina. Just tell, tell us the fans, uh, UCF fans and everybody else listening, or kind of your little, uh, little background uh, history of coming from uh, where you started to where you are now. Okay, so I'm from Springfield, Illinois. I moved from Springfield, Illinois my sophomore year. Uh, I moved to Indiana, so like my story, I've been everywhere. Like it's it's chaotic, so <laughs> it's been it's been a lot. So I moved from Indiana my junior, year. then I moved to Minnesota. So I went to a school called Minnesota Prep, and uh, here it was my first year coming off an of in injury, and I got my name out there a lot. Like I came out and I was really hungry, considering what happened the year before. So I was really hungry. I came out, I got my name out there a lot, and then moving to North Carolina this last year. I mean, it kicked it off even more, and more people saw my hunger and my story, and and and, and just supported me, and it's just it's just been up since. And we've got a great chance of seeing you here. We got to see you with Team Curry in the summer there, and now with Liberty Heights uh, and everything. What has it been like playing in North Carolina, and especially with Liberty Heights uh, starting this season with your with a very talented group of people who haven't seen y'all yet? Uh, so I mean, you hear it a lot. In North Carolina is called the Hoop State. But, um, I mean, coming here, it's a lot of exposure. So, it's a big-time platform. So, instantly, there's eyes on you. And then the style of basketball in North Carolina is different. Like, I, like basketball is different in each region. But, like, coming to North Carolina, you see this different type of play. And then my play is different from there. So, little things stick out. And I take little things from the, from the uh, players I see in North Carolina that I like. And I want to add to my game. And, I mean, I, I think it's just contributed to my overall growth like seeing more basketball, getting around more basketball people. It's just allowed me to keep absorbing and growing. Now, as far as your game goes here, what what are people what are UCF fans can expect to see for, and what do you think you could bring uh to the for, uh, program? Can I describe how you like to operate and everything on the court? Uh, I feel like I can score on offense, I can create my own shot, but I also feel like I'm a guy that can play with other good players. I could play I like I could find many roles to, to uh impact the game and if it's defense in that game, rebounding, energy, I feel like I gotta be a consistent leader every night. That's huge and and I feel like I'm just a guy that, that can do whatever it takes to win. Besides scoring, I can do other things besides that. A lot of people, when I first uh, kind of uh, was learning more about you and everything like that, a lot of people kind of labeled you as like a three and D kind of guy um, and everything. Would that be a, a good way to kind of describe what you could maybe impact uh, for, you know, early on in your college uh, college career? Uh, yes, I mean, early on, I think that, yeah, I feel like I can feel that role for sure. I feel like, like you said, like, I feel like I can feel that role for sure, whatever it is to get me on the court and just make an impact. But I feel like I have more than that to my game. However, like in certain situations, that if that's the goal for a team, the way I feel like I could do that, no problem. What are some areas that you're going to be hoping to improve on now that uh, uh, now with your decision behind you? Uh, for sure, just to keep getting stronger and improve my athleticism, and then just going uh, to college. I want to be ready to play at uh, college speed, play with college strength and intensity, 
And I feel like everything else to take care of itself when I get there as far as learning and growing with the program. And ultimately now, now the decision behind you and everything like that, um, obviously that was a big goal of yours. Uh, now that that kind of weight is lifted off your shoulders here, what are some other goals that you have now for the rest of the season before you head off to college? Uh, well, to, we just took our first loss of Liberty Heights. So, I mean, I want to keep – keep it with one loss only and just keep keep this year going out and make it a special year with my uh, teammates and just focus on building and just 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 finishing this year off strong and just being happy being, and, and focusing on bringing my energy every day and I could it's a weight off my shoulders and I could put all my focus in the basketball and the team and just yeah just keep going and working every day getting better well, PJ has been great there. And UCF fans, you got to get uh, got a little glimpse of what PJ is going to be able to bring to the floor. This is your newest commit in 2021, PJ Edwards from Liberty Heights here. So I just want to say a huge congrats to you uh, on your decision and everything. Um, any kind of final words that you have for your future fans there? Uh, well, thank you for uh, the congrats. To, uh, man, I'm just ready to come in and hoop, man. Let's get it. Hey, I can't wait to see you out on the college floor. It's been great kind of getting to see you just – it's been a short time there, but it's been enjoyable to watch your game and everything. You've been really – you've really impressed us, uh, the scouts at Phenom, Phenom Hoops there, and obviously a lot all throughout North Carolina. I've been, a lot of people have been uh, – will be future fans of you at UCF there. Sure, I appreciate it. Well, congrats again. And if you have – if you'd like to see more interviews uh, – scouting reports and highlights for Phenom Hoops, be sure to subscribe to our Phenom Hoops channel. And make sure you also check out all the content at phenomhoopreport.com.